Buster, your tooth is about to fall out. You will have to get a robot tooth to replace it. What? This is all my fault! Don't be silly, Diggly. Everyone knows when your tooth falls out, you lose it forever. Forever? Forever? Look, a tooth! Maybe we can get help there. We'll never get there in time. We have to get there. Scout, sirens on! <gasps> We're doomed! What are we gonna... What are we gonna do, Buster? Okay, so here's the plan. Scout, you... Scout? Scout! Vroom, vroom, vroom! Bet you can't catch me, uh, Mr. Rubble! Uh, stop this flim flammery at once! We have a tooth to say. Are we nearly there yet? Yeah, I'm running low on charge. Yes, I think so. Just one more road. Uh, Buster? We can do this. Buster. But, but, it's gone. It's gone forever. Yes, it is. But a bigger one will grow in its place. A, a, a bigger one? I don't have to get a robot tooth? <laughs> Deary me, no. And you can keep your own tooth. Wow, it's amazing. That's even cooler than a robot tooth. I want to lose my Tooth next. Can I have a go, Buster? Woohoo! I love the mountains. <laughs> Snow is the best. These bumpy bumps are the funnest fun. <gasps> Whoa, that jump looks awesome. awesome. Let's do it, Buster. I'm not sure, guys. What if we crash? Come on, Ash. You're a super fire truck. You can do anything. Come on, Bumper Bunch. Let's move. Scout, scout. We're, we're flying. flying. Buster, we're crashing. We're crashing. <gasps> you guys okay? Oh, I don't feel so good. Me neither. I want to go home. Oh no! The crash sapped our power! We need to get to Jada's garage! We need to get down the mountain! Ash, help us, please! Oh. <gasps> I got this! Sorry, Ash. You can do anything, remember? You're a super fire truck. <sighs> You're doing it. Keep going. You got this, Ash. Whoa, this 
This isn't helping. I feel dizzy. We're nearly at the bottom of the mountain. Mountain. Run! Oh. Whoa! <gasps> 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 <laughs> Sounds like you both had a big bump. It was really big. Yeah, probably the biggest jump in the world. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that tickles. Well, you're both very brave, <laughs> but especially you, Ash. Buster told me fire trucks can do anything. You saved the day. He really did. Thank you, Jada. No, thank you. Now, what you two need is a good rest to get fully charged. Next time, Scout, we'll land that jump. I heard that! It's another exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Ooh. Today, they are making Mother's Day cards. Look, teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. <laughs> Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster's starting with some glue. Oops, the glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. Oh dear, Buster, the glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha, a spoon. Nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. Oh no, now Scout is stuck as well. Watch out, Scout. Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on, the water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray! It worked! Oh dear, what a mess! Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look, Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it! Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again! Buster is heading off to school. Wait a second, Buster. Don't forget, it's school photo day today. So you need an extra polish. Bye, Mommy Bus. Look, Terry Tractor is here to take the school photos. Bandit and Ash are up first. Smile! Buster's turn next. And he wants to get an action shot. Whoops! Buster slipped! Watch out, Scout! Oh no, what's wrong? The teacher is handing Buster a mirror. Buster has knocked out his wobbly front tooth! Oh no! And now Buster is too embarrassed to have his photo taken. It's okay, Buster. You can have it taken another day. Buster is feeling really sad about missing out on the photos, but Mommy Bus is here to pick him up. And she's taking him to the dentist to get his tooth looked at. Hooray! Buster is a little bit nervous. Don't worry, Buster. Amber the ambulance is here to take a look at that tooth for you. It's time to sit in the special dentist chair. Wow, that looks like so much fun! And now it's time to check that tooth. Don't worry, Buster. There's nothing to be scared of. 
First, Amber is looking at the tooth with a little mirror. Open wide, Buster. Say, ah. Uh. And what's that? Amber's going to play Buster a video. It's another bus, just like Buster. And his tooth has fallen out. But don't worry, another one will grow in its place. He might be missing a tooth for now, but soon he'll have a brand new one. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Buster now feels much better. Thanks, Amber. And now he's going back to school to get his photo taken. Gather in, Buster. Say cheese. Whoa! Buster and his friends have been out trick-or-treating for Halloween. <laughs> Buster has lots of tasty sweets in his bucket. Grandpa reminds Buster that he shouldn't eat too many sweets at once. Now Buster's up in his room. But now, no one is watching. He's eating all the sweets he can. Ouch! That really hurt! Oh no! Buster has a wobbly tooth! That's really frightening! Mommy's come to fetch Buster. It's dinner time, but he's hiding his wobbly tooth. I don't think he wants anyone to know. Dinner's ready. Lots of tasty vegetables. But Buster doesn't want to eat. Mommy can tell something has upset Buster. He's showing her his wobbly tooth. Aw. Grandpa knows what to do. He tells Buster to take a bite of that sweet corn. Look! Buster's tooth has fallen out. That wasn't so bad. Buster feels much better now. Now it's time for bed. <laughs> Mommy tells Buster to put the tooth under his pillow. Whilst he's asleep, the tooth fairy will come to collect it. Buster wakes up the next morning and... Whoa! A big gold star! Buster is going to wear that proudly. Now he knows there's nothing to worry about with a wobbly tooth. It's evening time, and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy! Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer, but Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now, everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster too! They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. 
But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. Go, Buster! Oh, look, it's Buster, our favorite yellow bus. But wait, you don't look as bright and yellow as usual. Oh, Buster, I think you need a new coat of paint. You're looking a little scruffy. Great idea! A trip to the paint shop will do the trick. He looks like one happy customer. Buster can't wait to get a fresh new coat of yellow paint. He's going to look good as new. Oh my, what was that? That made you jump, didn't it, Buster? Oh no! Buster's mixed up the paint cans. I don't think he's realized. Is that going to be the right color? Here goes, Buster. A fresh new coat of yellow. Oh no! That's not yellow. Buster has been sprayed red. And I don't think he's noticed. Take a look at yourself, Buster. You're a red bus. Quickly, back to the paint shop. Oh dear, you've knocked over all the paint. How will you be able to tell which color is which? Here goes. Oh no, that's not quite right. Buster is now blue. Jesse seems very surprised. Yes, it's because of how blue you are, Buster. Maybe this time you'll come out yellow. Hmm, still not yellow. Now Buster is green. Look at how confused Tony is. Fourth time lucky. Close your eyes and wish for yellow, Buster. Oh no! Jesse and Scout still don't seem to recognize you, Buster. Buster has now been sprayed pink. Wait, Buster, I'm not sure that's the answer. <laughs> Buster the rainbow colored bus. I'm not sure if Robin approves. <gasps> Which paint can to choose from? One of these must be yellow. The moment of truth. Phew! There we go! That's the Buster the Bus we all know. With a bright new shiny coat of yellow paint. That was quite a colorful adventure. Buster and his friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck! Hooray! She's here to show them what a fire truck does. When a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. What happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire! Yippee! It's time to practice. They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first. Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout? Oops! That's better. Well done! <laughs> now it's Buster's turn. Hmm. Wow! Oh. Watch out, Buster! <laughs> that was a great day. But now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work. <laughs> Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck. Thank you! Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home. Bye, Scout. Bye, Ash. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? It's smoke. Where could it be coming from? <gasps> oh no, it's a fire! What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter. Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help. <gasps> Teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! There's the fire. Aha! And there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no! Quick! Phew! 
The fire is out! Yippee! Oh. What great teamwork! <laughs> it's the next day at school! Teacher is calling Buster up to the front! What could it be for? Look! Mommy fire truck! She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat! Go, Buster! Nap time in Buster's garage! Have a nice sleep, Buster! But who's this? It's a robot bus! Oh no, he's come to cause mischief! He's made himself look like Buster! Oh, hey, Scout. She's practicing her ball skills for the football match. Here comes Robot Bus. I think Scout thinks it's Buster, not a Robot Bus. Oh, dear. Robot Bus has squashed Scout's football. What a nasty thing to do. Poor Scout is very upset. It's Jessie G. She's waiting for the green light. There it is. Oh, that was a close one. It's Robot Bus up to mischief again. Oh no, Jesse thinks that's the real Buster. Oh, little Robin, be careful. Robot Bus isn't very friendly. Oh, poor Robin. Bad Robot Bus. Hey, Digger. He's having fun with his building block. Oh no, Robot Bus has come to join in. He's ruined Digger's pyramid of blocks. Robot Bus is causing chaos. Here's the real Buster the bus. <gasps> Waking from his nap. Oh dear, everyone oh. is angry at you, Buster. They think Robot Bus was you. How can you prove that you didn't do all these mean things? Robot Bus has come to cause more chaos. Quick, Digger, there's a switch on his roof. Oh, look, he's been set to bad. Switch it to good, Digger. Well done, Digger. That seems to have done the trick. It looks like Robot Bus has gone back to normal now. Oh? <laughs> well done, everyone. That was a close one. Robot Bus could have terrorized the whole town. Bye, everyone. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. They're Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. Oh, wow. Buster's become a rocket and he's going to space. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Look at Buster go! All right! 
You did it, Buster. You're in outer space. What a cool place to be. I think Buster wants to go space exploring. Look at that! It's a red planet. Let's go in for a closer look. Hey there, little space buddy. I bet that alien has never seen a bus before. Where are you off to now, Buster? Oh, a yellow planet. It's so beautiful with that huge ring around it. Look at that. Buster's gonna go for a drive around the ring. Let's see how fast you can go. Whoa! That was fun! What's Buster seen now? It's a purple planet. Isn't it huge? Whoa! Round and round the planets Buster goes. Round the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. But wait! Oh no! A blue planet! Buster's going too fast! I think he's going to hit it! Oh, thank goodness. It was only a dream. You're okay, Buster. Look, Scout is using her telescope to look at the night sky. Take a look, Buster. There's the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. Hello, little space buddy. around <laughs> and hear the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. There's Buster the Bus. Looks like he's driving through the enchanted forest. But wait. What's this by the road? I think it's a spell book. Wow, Buster can use that to do magic. Look, it's Scout, Terry, and Jessie in the town square. I think Buster's going to try casting some spells. Let's see now. Whoa, a wizard's hat. Buster really is doing magic. I wonder what spell Buster can use to help Terry. Abracadabra. Wow! Buster made the plants grow. Nice work, Wizard Buster. What other spells are in the spell book? The bee spell? Oh, look! Buster turned Scout into a bee. She's having so much fun flying around. I think Jessie wants to fly too. What spells are there for that? Bubbles? Cool! Jessie's floating around in her own bubble. Nice work, Wizard Buster! Oh, look, he's very sleepy. Time for a nap, Buster. Uh oh, I think something's gone wrong. The magic is out of control. Quick, Buster, you've got to put everything back to normal. Hurry, Buster. Phew, all the spells are canceled. But I don't think Buster's friends are very happy with him. Buster's putting the spell book back where he found it. And that's the end of the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. Buster is at Daddy's house today. Oh, look, it's Daddy Bus. Tomorrow, Buster is going back to school. It's going to be great. But first, they need to get ready. Daddy Bus has a checklist of everything Buster needs before he goes back to school tomorrow. <laughs> he needs his rucksack, a lunchbox, his school book, a pencil case, and a ruler. Hmm. Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Everything else, check. And last but not least, the shark tooth from his holiday for show and tell. <laughs> wow! Buster needs to get a good night's sleep before school tomorrow. <laughs> good night, Buster. There goes the alarm. It must be time to get up. Oh no, Buster has gone back to sleep. Oh dear. 
And now he's going to be late for school! Quick! They've got to get everything ready! Huh? Hmm. What does Buster need? Rucksack? Check. Lunchbox? Check. Pencil case and school book? Check. But what is he missing? The ruler! Aha! There it is! It's time to head off for school. Wait a second. Buster forgot his shark tooth. <gasps> quick, Buster, quick! Shark tooth? Check. They're going to have to race to get there on time. Go, Buster! Looks like the teacher is getting worried. <laughs> All his friends are already at school and he's going to be late. Oh no! Phew! He did it! Just in time! What a crazy morning! Here comes Buster the bus. I wonder what he's going to get up to today. What's this? Look at that billboard, Buster. Those tires look so shiny and new. Maybe it's time for you to get some new tires, Buster. <laughs> Off he goes. Oh, look. It's Jessie the Jeep. She seems to be struggling up the hill. Here comes Buster. <laughs> Poor Jessie. I think she needs some help, Buster. <laughs> Her tires don't seem to be gripping the road. You're nearly there, Jesse. Keep trying. Oh, Buster, I know you want to get mm. those tires, but your friend Jesse needs some help. Oh, no! Jesse is slipping back down. Oh, well done, Buster. You came back to help Jesse. That was very kind of you. Oh, no. It looks like something is wrong with Jesse's trailer. It looks like the weight of the trailer is pushing her down the hill too fast. She's lost control, Buster. Quickly, Buster, you have to help her. It'll be okay, Jessie. Buster isn't far behind. Good job, Buster. Keep in control of the trailer so it doesn't tip over. Oh, no. The garage is up ahead. She won't be able to slow down in time. Great idea, Buster. Use your brakes to slow down, Jessie. That was a close one. Well done, Buster! And look! It's the shiny new tires you came for! Oh, poor Jessie. Her tires look sore. Buster, I think there's someone who needs them more than you. That's right, Buster. Well done! Jessie really needs some new tires. They look great, Jessie. You'll have no trouble pulling your trailer now. And driving up hills will be easy. Bye, Buster. Bye, Jessie. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa, it's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. Now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. 
Oh no! The red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it! Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! It's sports day at Buster's school. How exciting! First is the 100-meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go! Go, Buster! He's the winner! Hooray! That was easy! Buster is the fastest in school! Next up, it's the high jump. Scout's up first. Scoot, scoot! Wow! That was awesome! Buster thinks he can beat that jump. Off he goes. Oops! Don't worry, Buster. He doesn't look very happy. It's the egg and spoon race next. Get ready, and go! Buster really wants to win. Whoops! Buster was going too fast and smashed the egg. Oh, dear. And Ash is the winner. Well done, Ash. Buster is annoyed about losing. He really wanted to win. He's so upset that he isn't playing ball with the others. That does look fun, Buster. It's not just about winning, Buster. It's about having fun. Hooray! Now they're all having fun together. It's time to present the medals. Buster is third, Ash is second, and Scout is first. Well done, everyone. What a brilliant day. Hello, Buster. Whoa, look at all that spooky slime. You're splashing it everywhere. Look, it's Terry the tractor. I don't think he wants to get covered in slime. Look how careful he's being. Zoom! <laughs> Wait, look out, Buster. You're heading straight for Terry. Whew, that was a close one. Watch out, Buster. <laughs> oh, dear. You splashed Terry with slime. I don't think he's very impressed. Off Buster goes again, having fun in the green slime. Watch out! Oh, no. Buster is stuck in the sticky slime. Dear, oh, dear. He really is stuck tight. The sun's going down, and it's getting dark. Spooky. I hope Buster's going to be okay. Look, everyone, it's Terry Tractor. He's come to save the day. Terry doesn't look too happy about it, though. Please help Buster, Terry. He just needs one big push. Can he do it? One, two, here we go! Hooray! Thanks, Terry. Oh, Buster. Thank goodness Terry Tractor was there to save Buster from the sticky green slime. Bye, Terry. Bye, Buster. It's a sunny day, and Daddy Bus is taking Buster on a trip to the beach. Buster says goodbye to Mommy Bus, and off they go. Hooray! But, oh dear, Otis is blocking their path. The road is closed. Buster is very upset. But looks like Daddy has an idea. It's a lovely lake. And they can go fishing instead. Buster is disappointed, though, as he wanted to go to the beach. Daddy teaches him how to fish. Wow, now it's Buster's turn. Buster is bored. This isn't as fun as the beach. Why is Daddy so excited? Hang on, something is tugging on Daddy's line. What could it be? 
Whoa! Daddy has caught a huge fish! It's so big, Daddy isn't strong enough! Buster joins in and helps! Watch out, Buster! Oops! They've been pulled into the water! And the fish is finding this very funny! Buster and Daddy Bus won't give up that easily! Looks like they've got a new plan! The fish is swimming in the lake! Daddy casts his fishing line. And the fish pulls once again. It's another tug of war. Look, there's Buster floating in the lake. Aha, gotcha. Buster caught the fish with his net. Go, Buster. Daddy is very proud. Well done, Buster. The fish swims away. See you next time, fishy. Fishing was lots of fun after all. It's a bright all. new morning. <gasps> and Buster looks so excited. Uh, it's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. <laughs> Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting. Oh no! Buster accidentally ran over the present! It's flat as a pancake! Poor Buster! It was just an accident! But wait! I think Buster has an idea! Look! Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box! And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets! There's the wooden stick, too. <laughs> and the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. <laughs> but what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> Diggly's opening his present, and... Whoa! It's a pinata! It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes! One more smack! Look at all those sweets! An amazing birthday Look. present! Buster has arrived early for school today. There's Scout and Diggly. Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout flipped too. Phew! Oh no, the clock is broken too. What a mess. And here comes the teacher. They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. They can swap jobs. Scout can collect up all the letters, then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time, here comes the teacher. Well? <laughs> Everything looks normal. <laughs> Apart from that letter. <laughs> and the time isn't right. <laughs> and the number. One, two, three, four. 
good as new. Look, it's Buster the Bus on a bright new morning. What's he going to do today? What's that? Seeds? Whoa! Buster's going to grow some fruits and vegetables. Buster heads to his vegetable patch and takes a look at the instructions. First, he needs to dig a hole to plant the seeds in. Buster starts digging. Oh dear, this could take a long time. But look, there's Diggly. He'll be able to help. Diggly's the best at digging, and he's always happy to help his friend. Diggly will have holes for the seeds dug in no time. There, no problem. Now Buster plants all the seeds in the holes and looks at step two. Sunshine. The seeds need sunshine to grow. But uh-oh, it's a cloudy day. But look, there's Monty, the hot air balloon. Maybe he can help. There, Monty's pushed the cloud away. Now the seeds are growing. Now, step three. Rain? Looks like another job for Monty. He's hopping on the cloud and perfect. Now they just have to wait for the seeds to grow. Many days pass. The plants get bigger. Then one bright morning, Buster checks his calendar. Today is the day! Look! Red tomatoes, orange pumpkins, yellow sweet corn, green beans, and purple eggplants. Well done, Buster! Look at all the colorful fruit and vegetables he's grown. Now he can share them with his friends. Look, there's Scout, and there's Buster. I think they're playing tag. What's Buster seen? Oh, wow, a maze. Scout is going inside. Go on, Buster, try and find her. I wonder which way Scout went. There she is. <laughs> Off they go, winding their way through the maze. Which way should Buster go now? This way. Oh look, a yellow flower. How nice. A few more turns and... Which way this time? This way. Wait a minute, it's that flower again. Buster's gone round in circles. Maybe if he backs up, he can find his way out? There's Scout. She looks lost, too. Whoa! Buster and Scout have found each other. Thank goodness. But now, they need to find the way out. Scout is balancing on Buster's roof. Maybe she can see a way out. There it is! Good job, Scout! <laughs> They're speeding off towards the exit. But which way is it? Oh dear, they're still lost in the maze. Look, tire tracks. They can follow those all the way to the way out. Good thinking, Buster. There's that flower again. A little further and hooray! They made it out. Great teamwork, guys. <laughs> Look, it's Rita the sports car. She's speeding into the maze. Oh well, I guess Buster and Scout will have to help her find her way out. Buster, it looks like you're all covered in mud. You had a lot of fun splashing through those muddy puddles. It looks like Buster might need a wash. I'm not sure if he thinks so. Here comes the city bus. Oh dear, he doesn't look very impressed at how dirty Buster is. It looks like Buster has finally realized just how messy he looks. That's right, Buster. You're covered in mud. Is that a sign for a car wash? <laughs> Great idea, Buster. Off he goes to the car wash to clean himself up. Oh, poor Buster. He's too scared to go inside. It does look very scary, doesn't it? Go on, Buster. You can do it. You need to get clean. You're so dirty. He's going for it. 
Buster is being very brave indeed. One, two, three. Oh no, you were so close, Buster. Oh, he sounds very impatient. Buster, take a deep breath. You can do it. Huh? But the sounds are so scary. Go on, Buster, you can do it. You're almost there. Ready, set, go! <laughs> You're doing it, Buster! It tickles! That's not so bad, is it? And out he comes! There! That wasn't so bad, was it, Buster? All sparkly and clean. Looking good. Wow, well done, Buster. Nice and clean. That car wash wasn't so scary after all. Happy holidays, Buster. Oh, no. Buster doesn't look very happy, does he? Let's go and see what's wrong with him. Buster seems very bored. Has he run out of things to do? <gasps> Did you hear that, everyone? Yes, it's Buster's friend, the Robin. But where could he be? I can't see him anywhere, can you? That's a very big sigh from Buster. <gasps> oh, look, there he is. And he's carrying Buster's bobble. I think he wants you to follow him, Buster. Go on, let's see what he wants to show you. Oh, he is bringing back a scarf. Great idea, Buster. <laughs> you should both build a snowman. Look at him, using his wheels to pile up all the snow. Clever, Buster. Wow, it's already taking shape. And there's the head. Well done, Robin. A snowman isn't complete without his scarf. <gasps> what are those pieces of coal for? Of course. Now the Robin's gone to find something else. Oh, yes. A carrot for their snowman's nose. What a fantastic snowman. But look. Buster Ooh. thinks something's missing. Wow, mm. that's a big gust of wind. And look. It's blown a top hat to Buster and the Robin. That's what was missing. Well done, Buster. The Robin certainly agrees. <laughs> oh, wow. The snowman has come alive. Buster is so excited. Buster now has not only the Robin to play with, but his new snowman friend, too. Happy holidays, everyone. Oh, what a beautiful day it is today. I think Buster is feeling a little hot. Hmm? Hey, look! Scout has the right idea. <laughs> An ice cream will cool you down, Buster. And it looks delicious. Do you hear that, Buster? It sounds like Iggy, the ice cream van. Hey there, Iggy. Buster wants an ice cream. Look at all the different flavors. Chocolate chip, vanilla sprinkles, triple towered scoop, raspberry swirl, strawberry and vanilla with a chocolate sauce. Looks like Buster has made his choice. Wow, thanks, Iggy. Oh, that was quick, Buster. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Another one already? Oh, hey, Digger. He's joined the queue for an ice cream. Another ice cream coming right up. Buster, you really want a third ice cream? You're not the only one who wants ice cream, Buster. Mmm, yummy. A vanilla with a chocolate flake. The queue is getting bigger. And Buster wants a fourth ice cream. Yummy, this one has a cherry on top. Okay now, Buster, I think you've had enough. Digger and Billy are waiting patiently for their ice cream, and you are being greedy. Looks like Iggy has had enough of Buster's behavior. Ha, <laughs> you want more ice cream, Buster? Here you go. <laughs> Look, it's Buster the ice cream. It's definitely still missing some toppings, though. A tasty chocolate flake and a cherry. Yummy. <laughs> that has definitely cooled Buster down. <laughs> Billy is enjoying that cherry. 
and Digger is tucking into a big scoop off the top. <laughs> this Buster ice cream is really tasty. I'm sure Buster will think twice before he's greedy again. Thanks, Iggy, for some wonderful tasty ice cream. Ice cream really is as good as it looks. Buster and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. But first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive. But I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast. Scoot, scoot. Wow, Scout told such a cool story. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> But then, I came face to face with a dinosaur! <gasps> but he had a sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Wait a second, that's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear, Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, uh -oh. could he? Oh. <gasps> All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. Mm. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be mm. interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> uh. This summer, I was at the beach, but Ooh. then I saw, mm. no, Yes! Oh. Pirates are even cooler than sharks! <laughs> Yarm, <Yarmahartis>! Hmm. <laughs> okay. Ah. The pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth hmm. out with a little help from a friendly little bee! <laughs> we took out the sore tooth and then they played catch with it! <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination, especially with friends. I think Buster is sleeping again. Where are you, Buster? Look at all the giant colored balls and toys. It looks like a great place for an adventure. Let's see what else Buster can find. <laughs> wow, look at that teddy bear. Look how big it is. He looks soft and cuddly. Aw, that's it, Buster. Have a nice big cuddle. He looks so cuddly. Oh no, Buster. What's that noise? It's a giant claw. Huh? I think Buster is inside a giant claw machine. Buster, watch out. It's going to get you. Go, Buster. Oh, no. <gasps> Buster, it was just a bad dream. Look, it's Scout. It looks like Buster is still a bit shaken up. But you don't need to worry anymore, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Buster, Scout has something to show you. I wonder what it is. Oh no, it's a claw machine. Buster looks frightened. Scout's not scared of it. Maybe it's fun. Don't worry, Buster. Scout's with you. <gasps> Look, Buster, it's that teddy. Why don't you try and win it? Come on, Buster, just be brave. You can do it. Okay, Buster, let's get this teddy. Take it easy. That looks about right. Okay, here goes. Did you get it? What's that?
Oh, it's a little yellow bus. That toy looks just like you, Buster. Huh? <laughs> that makes Scout and Buster laugh. Buster has gotten over his fear of the claw machine now. Buster the bus. Looks like he's having fun flying that kite. Look out! Oh, no. Scout accidentally hit Buster, and now the kite has flown away. I'm sure Scout didn't mean it, Buster. <laughs> Look, what's this? It's a letter addressed to Santa, but it's not been delivered. I think Buster has an idea. He's going to deliver the letter himself to make sure it gets to Santa safely. Oh no, the letter! Phew, thanks for the help, Robin. Off Buster goes. It's a long way to the North Pole where Santa lives. It's cold and tough. Be careful you don't get lost, Buster. Oh dear, almost there, Buster. What's this? Oh. Reindeer tracks. <laughs> Look, it's Santa! Buster made it! <laughs> Santa's saying hello, Buster. Go and give him the letter. Buster's driven such a long way to deliver it. Let's see what it says. Whoa, it's asking Santa to give Buster a kite for Christmas. It's from Scout. What a loyal friend Scout is. I think Santa knows what to do. Well done for delivering the letter, Buster. It's Christmas morning. Wake up, Buster. Oh, there's nothing under the tree. Maybe Santa was too busy. Wait, there's a present after all. Merry Christmas, Buster. And there it is, just like Scout asked. A kite to replace the one Buster lost. Thank you, Scout. What a thoughtful Christmas gift. It's Halloween, and Buster is at Daddy's house. Oh, but Halloween can be scary. Daddy Bus has an idea. He's going to tell a Halloween story. Daddy's going to tell a story of the brave wizard's adventure to find the magic gems and save Halloween. Buster the brave wizard went on an adventure. He had to find all the magic gems. There must be gems in that castle. They're guarded by a monster. <laughs> This wizard must be very brave, Dad. <sighs> the wizard was the bravest of all, Buster! <laughs> ah. The hero presses on through the dark woods towards the castle. <laughs> Something stirs in the darkness up ahead in the forest. What is it, Dad? A werewolf? <gasps> A ghost? A were-ghost! The mysterious shadow grows larger. Is it the monster? He found a jewel. Well done. Finally, the wizard reached the mysterious castle. There must be more gems inside, but how to get there? He needs to lower the drawbridge. But how? The wizard could use his magic. <laughs> Good idea. The brave adventurer pushed forward inside the castle walls. <laughs> Onward into the castle. How brave the wizard is. What will our hero do? Run or continue? Continue, continue! Ooh. The wizard has to find the treasure and save Halloween! <laughs> but what's that behind them? It's the monster! If the wizard wants to get those magic jewels, he'll need to get past it. Wait, Daddy. The monster must be really lonely. Oh, I suppose so, yes. The monster is lonely. Maybe the wizard should help the monster. Ah. He needs a friend. 
And so the brave wizard rolled up and used his magic to make the castle all warm and bright. Ah, <laughs> the monster is you, Dad. <laughs> the monster was so grateful he gave the wizard all the magic jewels. So brave Buster <laughs> saved Halloween for everyone. Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa, that monster is super scary! Phew, don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow! Poor Scout! <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. Now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That serves Buster right. Great job, gang! What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood! That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. Hey, Buster. Oh, no! Buster looks really ill. Hello, Scout. I think Scout wants to play. I don't think Buster is well enough to play today. Buster is feeling really ill. Quick, Scout, go and get some help. Oh, poor Buster. It'll be okay. We all get poorly now and then. Oh, look! Scout has brought Amber the ambulance to have a look at Buster. Great idea, Scout. Amber will know what to do to make Buster feel better. It looks like Amber the Ambulance is helping Buster back into his garage. Let's see if she can find what's wrong with Buster. Firstly, let's check Buster's tires. Oh, look. This one has lost all of its air. It needs pumping up. There we go. That's better. Buster looks better already. Oh, but you're still a bit under the weather. Ah, yes. Let's check Buster's temperature with a thermometer. It doesn't look good, Buster. It's time for Amber to check Buster's engine. Oh no! Buster's leaking oil! No wonder he's not feeling well. Amber will fix this with her spanner. It's okay, Buster. It'll be done soon. Just a few more turns. There we go. Great job, Amber! Buster looks like he's back to his normal self again. I think you're well enough to go out and play, Buster. <laughs> he seems very pleased. That's the Buster we know and love. It's time for Amber to head off. Bye, Amber. Thank you for looking after Buster. <laughs> off Scout and Buster go to play. Bye. It's Jessie the Jeep. She's got a cake. Wow, that looks tasty. But here comes Bandit Bus. He looks mischievous. <laughs> Oh, no! He's eating Jessie's cake! That's not fair at all! Poor Jessie! There's Buster the bus! And there's Bandit, driving too fast! Look! Buster's gone to play with Scout! He's given her a soccer ball as a present! Look at Scout go!
Look at that! Diggly is building a colorful tower. But here comes Bandit. I wonder what that awful bully is up to. Oh no! He's knocked over Diggly's tower. Bandit is a menace. Uh-oh, he's seen Scout's ball. Bandit is stealing the ball for himself. What a bully. Buster wants to do something. Poor Scout is really upset. Buster wants to help his friend. He's going to stand up to Bandit and get him to give the ball back. I don't think Bandit will listen to Buster. He's going to bully him instead. It's not fair. But wait, Jesse is standing beside Buster. Scout is here to help too. They're all fed up with Bandit being a bully. There's Otis, the police car, enjoying an ice cream. Oops, Bandit has backed into Otis. Otis looks mad. Serves Bandit right, being mean to everyone. Now Buster, Scout, and Jesse can play soccer in peace. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. And Buster and Grandpa are having a great time playing together. Mommy Bus is off to work. Will Buster and Grandpa be able to make dinner together? Whoa, some real cooking. Buster is very excited. Let's cook. Grandpa sets up the stove. Hmm, but what comes next? Buster has an idea. It's chocolate sauce. Hmm, Grandpa doesn't think that's quite right for dinner. Let's take a look at the recipe. They've gathered all the ingredients together. Buster starts by adding some flour to the bowl. Whoa, easy there, Buster. Oops, the flour has gone everywhere. Now Grandpa and Buster are covered in flour. Buster is adding the finishing touches to the mixture. Careful the mixture doesn't go everywhere. Great job, Buster. Oops, Grandpa's tomato sauce has splattered all over the floor. And what's going on at the stove? The pot is bubbling over. Oh, look, it steamed up his glasses and now he can't see where he's going. Watch out, Grandpa. Oh dear, this isn't going very well. Grandpa and Buster are clearing up the mess. But Mommy Bus is coming home from work. Uh-oh, they still haven't made dinner. What are they going to do? Grandpa gets some fish fingers out of the freezer. Aha, this gives Buster an idea. Time for chocolate sauce. Mommy Bus is wondering what Buster and Grandpa have made for dinner, just as they're finishing up. I wonder what they've cooked. It's fish fingers and green beans. And chocolate sauce. Are you sure about this, Buster? He gives it a try. Hmm, delicious. Mommy also gives it a try. And it's surprisingly tasty. Well done hey there, Buster. My, you're looking messy today. It's so much fun to play in the muddy puddles. Come on now, Buster. Time to go to the car wash. You'll be squeaky clean again in no time. Hey there, Tony truck. Whoops, he knocked out the power cable. Oh no, the car wash is turned off and Buster is stuck inside. Quick, Scout, Buster needs your help. He's really stuck tight. Maybe if you give him a push. Ugh, it's no good, he won't budge. It'll be okay, Buster. Scout's going to get help. Be brave. Wow, here comes Scout. And she's brought Ashley the fire truck, Amber the ambulance, and Otis the police car with her. You'll be okay now, Buster. The emergency vehicles are here to help. I think Ashley has a plan. Grab hold of that rope, Buster. They're going to drag you free. 
All together now, everybody. Heave! Hard as you can. Come on, everyone. What's this? Scout spotted the plug that got knocked out. Maybe if she plugs it back in... Yes! The car wash is back on, and Buster is free. Oh, thank goodness for that. Good teamwork, everybody. <laughs> it's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh, look! Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh dear! Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed! Great work, Buster! Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano. Wow. They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no, Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. It's fall. And Buster the Bus and his friends are outside playing. <laughs> Look at all the leaves falling off the trees. What's this? I think Scout has an idea for a game. Oh, Scout wants to play hide and seek. What a great idea. 
You count, Buster, whilst everybody else goes and hides. <laughs> Tony the truck is hiding in the barn. Jesse the Jeep is hiding under that box. Diggly the Digger is going to dig a hole behind those bushes. Quick Scout, you need to find somewhere to hide before Buster is done counting. But where? Three, two, one. Coming ready or not. Where is everyone? Buster's going to seek. Is anyone hiding in that barn? Yes! You found Tony the truck, Buster. What about these boxes? Is anyone hiding here? I guess not. Wait a minute. Is that box following you, Buster? That must mean... Yes, you found Jesse the Jeep. Good job. What about those bushes? Anyone hiding there? Look, there's Robin. <gasps> Did you see that? I wonder if... That's right! You found Diggly the Digger! Hooray! That just leaves Scout. I wonder where she could be hiding. Wait, did you notice something funny about that pile of leaves? There, Scout! Well done, Buster! You found all of your friends' hiding places! Wasn't that fun? You're looking very cheerful today, Buster. What's that you've seen? Oh, wow! A kitten! It's adorable! Careful, Buster. You're really big, and the cat is really small. Oh, dear. I think you scared her, Buster. I wonder where she's going. You're too big to go under the fence, Buster. You'll have to go around. Where's that kitten gotten to? Uh-oh! She's stuck up in that tall tree! You've got to rescue her, Buster! A trampoline? What a good idea! That'll be a nice soft landing for the kitten! Bounce? Oh no! The kitten bounced right the way back up into the tree! Let's try something else! A net? Good idea, Buster! Careful now! Gently, gently. Oh, look, a bee. Stay still, Buster. I don't think he means any harm, but... Oh, dear. The net is broken, too. Back to the drawing board. Hold on. I think Buster has another idea. Of course! Buster's brought Ashley the fire truck. She'll be able to reach the kitten with her tall ladder. There we go. <laughs> The kitten will be safe now. Oh no, I think the kitten is too scared to come down the ladder. I wonder what Buster has planned. Oh yes, the kitten's ball of wool. She'll come down to play with that. Look how happy the kitten is. Here she comes down the ladder. There, safe and sound. Nice work, Buster. Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach. What a fun day out! Wow! The sea looks amazing! What is that in the water? Ah! It's a shark! Buster is very scared! Oops! Watch out, Iggy! Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Buster is trying to tell her what he saw! It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark. Hmm. Mommy Bus can't see anything. Don't worry, Buster. Everything is fine. And Mommy Bus is going back to her nap. Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. It's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Oops, not again! Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the
the shark? Hmm. Wait a second, what's wrong? <gasps> the shark has a sore, wobbly tooth! That's why it was jumping out of the water! <laughs> Don't worry, shark! Buster can help! He's trying to get Mommy's attention! She's awake! She's got her red kit and Mommy Bust to the rescue! Splat! <laughs> yum, yum! Mommy Bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth. It's out! Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. Well done, Buster! He can't wait to show the tooth to his friend. It's a very blustery day on the farm. Look, I think Terry has something he wants to show Buster. Hey, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. He's an old friend of Terry's. Say hello, Buster. <laughs> It must be so much fun to be able to float through the air like a balloon. But, uh-oh, the wind is picking up. I hope Monty doesn't blow away. Oh no, the rope snapped, and now the wind is blowing Monty away. Quick, Buster, you've got to chase after him, or who knows where he'll be blown off to. Monty is so high up. How will you get him down? Look, a rope. I wonder what Buster has in mind. Hurry up, guys. You've got to get ahead of Monty. What's Buster going to do? Oh, of course, a lasso. Rope him up, cowboy. Ah, so close. But Monty is still floating away. There has to be some way to rescue Monty. <gasps> What's Buster seeing now? It's Iggy the ice cream truck with lots of balloons. I think I know Buster's plan. Look, Buster's tied all the balloons to himself and now he's floating into the sky. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Grab hold of Monty. Almost. Almost, almost. You've got him. Well done, Buster. You saved the day. Monty looks very grateful. Ah, <laughs> uh, Monty's tied up safely again now. He's not going to float away like that balloon. Nice work, Buster. <laughs> it's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look, there's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team, though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm, Buster thinks they should go this way, but Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear, they can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees, but Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look! Scout and Diggly are working together. That's it! If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team. Whoosh! Off they go! That's more like it. Now it's a real fun snowball fight. It's much better with teamwork. <laughs> Who threw that snowball? <gasps> Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is. It's Buster the Butt. He looks very happy, doesn't he? Oh no, it started to rain. 
And there's some scary thunder and lightning. Uh-oh. It's a thunderstorm. Oh, look out for Scout, Buster. Oh, dear. Buster is so scared of the thunderstorm, he has left Scout behind in the rain. And now her wheel is stuck in the puddle. The lightning is everywhere now. Phew! Buster's safe and sound in the garage. But what about Scout? <gasps> Look, he has seen Scout. She really is stuck in that puddle. Will Buster be brave enough to go and help her? Scout's really struggling. Poor Buster. He is so scared of the thunder and lightning, isn't he? You can do it, Buster. Wow, the lightning is so bright and scary. Yay! Go, Buster! He looks very determined to help Scout now. A quick push should do the trick. Yay! Scout's free! Look how happy she is. Well done, Buster. Ooh, the thunder is still very loud, though. Oh, but look! Buster has overcome his fear. Buster and Scout are happily heading back to the garage to get in from the rain. Ooh, ha -ha, that thunder just made both of them jump! Bye, Buster! <laughs> Bye, Scout! Look, it's Buster the bus. But now he's a fish in the big blue sea. And look, there's a tiny baby shark! That crab is snapping his claws, just like the baby shark's jaws. Buster wants to play with them. And look there, that must be the mommy shark. She's dancing with the crab. She looks like she's having so much fun. What fun! Look, it's Sham the shark. He must be the daddy. Now Sham is dancing excitedly with the crab. Buster is happy to see his old friend. Who's this? Glasses? Wrinkles? This must be Grandma Shark. <laughs> She's having a great time dancing with the crab, too. <laughs> Look at her go. And this happy shark with a mustache? That must be Grandpa Shark. <laughs> He's having such a good time. Now Buster has met the whole shark family. Now Sham and Buster are playing together in the ocean. They're swimming through the coral and then up towards the surface. Aw, but the poor little crab can't keep up. Look at Buster and Sham jump gracefully out of the water. But the little crab is having a tough time. Up Buster jumps. Whoa! Watch out, little crab! Aw, Buster wants to play together. Now all three of them can swim together. Oh dear, Buster looks all worn out. Sham and the crab are saying goodbye. They've had such a nice day. Oh, it was all a dream. Or was it? There's the little crab again. Look, there's Buster, Mommy, and Grandpa. <laughs> I wonder where they're going on such a snowy day. Oh wow, they're going to get a Christmas tree. So many trees! <gasps> Which one to pick? Ha -ha. Hmm, what's this? <gasps> Buster wants the biggest tree there is! That really is tall! <sighs> now it's time to take it home! <laughs> Mommy is pulling the tree in her trailer. Phew, that looks heavy. Wait, oh no! The tree is too big to fit through the front door. But wait, Grandpa has an idea. Now they're trying to take it up the ramp. Nope, that doesn't work either. But now Mommy has a bright idea. Hmm, it doesn't fit down the chimney either. But Grandpa has another idea. Three, two, one, charge! 
Oh dear, it still doesn't fit. It's just too big. Look, it's Scout. She's off to get a Christmas tree of her own. I think Buster has an idea. I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> Grandpa's using his saw. Whoa, they cut the big tree in two. Scout can have half, and the other half will fit through the front door. Hooray! <laughs> there, that Christmas tree is just the right size for the house. It's time for the annual nature race, which Daddy Bus has organized. This is going to be so much fun! Ash and Buster are going to work together. They need to race through the woods as fast as they can. And the first one back gets the shiny trophy. Get set, go, go, go! Bandit has overtaken Buster and Ash. He really wants to win. What is he up to? <gasps> He's changed the sign! So Buster and Ash are going the wrong way. Oh no! <laughs> huh? There's no more path. This can't be right. And what's that? A huge tire print. Ash thinks it must be a monster. <laughs> nope, don't worry, Ash. Monsters aren't real. Uh-oh, I think they're lost. But they need to keep going. They're slowing down. Oh, dear. They're stuck in the mud. What are they going to do? <gasps> what is that? It sounds like a monster. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a monster truck. And they're very friendly. She's pulling Ash out of the mud. Wow, she's strong. And now it's Buster's turn. This monster truck is called Mira. She's lost too. Just like them. Buster says they can work as a team. There's Naughty Bandit. He's almost at the finish line. But look! Buster and his friends are ahead. They ended up taking a shortcut. Hooray! Mira won the race, but she couldn't have done it without her new friends. And she's won the trophy! Yippee! But Mira feels sad for Bandit being on his own. She knows what that feels like. Bandit feels bad for cheating in the big race. Don't worry, Bandit. There's no need to cheat when you have friends by your side. And it's always fun to make new friends. Everyone is having fun at the Christmas market. There's Buster. He's having a candy apple. So yummy. Whoa, Mommy Bus has a present. Is that for Buster? It is. But Mommy says to wait until Christmas to open the present. <laughs> Buster doesn't want to wait. He wants to open the present now. But he'll have to wait. Throw the ball to knock down the cans. That's Mommy's favorite game. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Buster's going to try to look at the present while Mommy is distracted. Buster shouldn't really be doing that. Hmm. What is inside? Here's Bandit. 
is flying off across the market. Huh? Quick, they have to get the uh. present back before Mommy notices it's gone. The present is uh. on the ice uh. rink. Quick, Bandit, grab it. Oopsie. Buster will have to try and get it now. So close. Ah, oh, so close. Mommy Bus still hasn't noticed the missing present. She's having so much fun. Oh, there's the present. Can Bandit and Buster get it back before Mommy notices? Ah, whoops. Where's the present gone now? Oh, look, the Wonder Wheel. It's Ash, and there's the present. Oh, no, he dropped it. Go, Buster. Great catch. Phew, well done, Buster. Look, uh -huh. Mommy put all the cans down. <laughs> Hooray, she won a teddy bear. They've got the present back just in time. Mommy is in such a good mood, she's going to let Buster look at the present, if he still wants to. But Buster has learned his lesson. He's going to wait. It's finally Christmas Day, and Buster can open the present at last. Whoa, it's a new soccer ball. <laughs> That's why it was so bouncy. Merry Christmas, Buster. Hey there, Buster. Hey, little Robin. That's right, Buster. Look both ways before crossing the tracks. Whoa, that was a close one. Wasn't Suki the train looking where she was going? There's Otis the police car. Something must be wrong. Quick, Buster, maybe you can help. Oh no, Suki has fallen asleep on the job. If someone doesn't stop her, who knows where she'll end up? What are we going to do? Wait, I think Buster has an idea. A rope? Good thinking, Buster. You can use that to slow Suki down. Nice catch, Robin. That's it. Pull! You can do it. Oh no, the rope snapped. Suki is still out of control. I think she's going faster now. You've got to catch up with her, quick! What's Buster see now? Oh dear, it's Digger. Suki is heading right towards him and he hasn't even noticed. Another track, it goes up a hill too. Look out, Buster. Phew, that was close. Well ducked, Buster. You need to change the tracks, Buster, so Suki goes up the hill. Hurry, Buster. You can do it. Almost there. Yes, just in time. Well done, Buster. You changed the track. Suki is heading up a steep hill. That'll slow her down. There, at last, she stopped safely. I think Suki is waking up. Thank goodness nobody was hurt. Well done, Buster. You helped Otis and saved the day. There's Buster and Scout. They're having great fun playing in all the muddy puddles. But, oh no. Poor Scout is feeling a bit sick. Aw, it's okay. They can play together again tomorrow. Now Buster is heading inside and grabbing a snack. But, oh dear, he's not washed his muddy wheels before eating that apple. That's not very clean. And he's left muddy wheel prints everywhere. The next morning, Mommy comes to wake up Buster. But, oh no! Buster doesn't look well at all. Poor Buster. Whoa, he's got a temperature. He'll have to stay home today to get better. Now it's time for some medicine. Buster doesn't like the look of it, but Mommy knows it'll help him get better. 
there. That wasn't so bad. Now Buster just has to get some rest. The next morning, Buster is feeling much better. Oh. Scout's feeling better too. They can go outside and play again. But wait, <laughs> Mommy says they should wash their hands first so they won't get ill again. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Wait, <laughs> Mommy has another idea. They can wear these face masks too so they don't get sick. There! Now Buster and Scout are ready to play outside safely. They're so happy now that they're feeling better again. There's Buster and Scout driving home. Wait, what was that? Oh, wow! It's a little baby reindeer. She must be lost. Buster is trying to cheer her up. Aw, I think she wants to play. <laughs> She's a jumpy little girl. Now Buster's throwing a snowball. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Scout. It's fun to play with new friends. Now Buster has built a snow ramp. I wonder what he's up to. Vroom! Buster's doing a big jump. Now it's the baby reindeer's turn. Whoosh! Now, Scout! Oh. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Buster. But where's the baby reindeer gone? They're following the footprints. There! She was playing hide and seek. Where's Scout going? Hmm, a big pile of snow. Oh, look, it's Scout! <laughs> Whoa, more reindeer footprints, bigger ones. Oh. I wonder where they lead. <laughs> I think the friends are going to follow them. The tracks are winding all through the trees. Look, it's Mommy and Daddy reindeer. They're so happy they found Baby. Baby Reindeer has had so much fun playing with Buster and Scout. But now it's time to say goodbye. Bye, Baby Reindeer. See you again soon. Look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting! Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster, yellow, of course. Let's paint. Oops. Ash adds a red splat to match Scout's. And Buster adds a yellow splat, awesome. I wonder what Scout is painting first. Oh. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Buster's go next. What's he going to paint? <gasps> a bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash! Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful, that paint is very messy. Oh dear, they're getting paint everywhere. What a mess. Uh-oh, the yellow paint is all over the floor. And now the purple. Yikes. Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun. Uh-oh, they didn't realize they were making such a mess. But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh no, Mommy.
Mommy bus is coming, and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet. Time to get all cleaned up. Ash is hosing Buster down. Splash! Now it's Scout's turn. And that looks like so much fun. And finally, Ash. Well done, everyone. Wow, the room looks completely clean. Time for Ash and Scout to head off home. Oops. Well, not completely bus clean. And Buster are driving across the hills. <laughs> oh, look, it's a baby deer. What's it running from? Huh? It's tracks in the train. Oh no, what's wrong? Traxon can't stop! Quick! Buster and Daddy Bus to the rescue! Oh no, he's speeding up! Daddy Bus is calling Otis the police car! This is an emergency! Ah! There's a branch on the tracks! Daddy Bus swoops in and moves it! Hooray! Well done, Daddy Bus! Looks like the tracks change directions up ahead. Daddy Bus and Buster are pulling the levers to change the direction of the tracks. But oh no, Terry is crossing the tracks. Change them quick! That was close. Now Traxon is going round and round. He's getting dizzy. Oh no, watch out! Phew! Daddy was just in time! Looks like Buster has a plan! They need to direct Traxon towards the hill! The hill is slowing him down! He stopped! Hooray! Go, Buster! <laughs> Otis has arrived on the scene. This doesn't look like an emergency. Oops. It's the end of school, and it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. Now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one. Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster, you don't want to knock the flower. Oh no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm, Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! It's Halloween, and Buster is having a party.
He's looking for a cool costume to make himself super scary. What has he found? Whoa! Buster is dressed up as a cowboy! Awesome! Time to put this costume to the test. Boo! Buster tries to scare Mommy. Did it work? Hmm, maybe the cowboy costume isn't scary enough. He needs to find something scarier. Aha! He's got it! Arr! He's a pirate! This is going to be much scarier. Oops! Be careful, Buster! There's Grandpa Bus! Scare him, Buster! Arr! Oh dear! Buster is still not scary enough! But looks like he's got an idea. Hang on a second. Where has Grandpa's laundry gone? It's time for snacks. <laughs> what was that? There's a noise coming from that shed. But what is making that noise? It's a bit spooky. a second, I recognize that giggle. It was Buster all along. That was definitely a scary costume. Sounds like people have arrived for the party. And Mommy has a plan. Ash and Scout have arrived. They're so excited. Hmm. There's nobody there. Whoa. They're a little bit scared. <gasps> what is that? Boo! Ah! Run away! <laughs> Don't worry, Ash and Scout. It was just Buster. <laughs> what a great prank and a very scary <laughs> costume. Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow! Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready and go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash. Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg, too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look, there's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping, too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh dear, Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay, they'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look, he's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. She'll know what to do. But wait. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone gets some yummy Easter eggs. Buster and Mommy Bus are visiting Terry's farm today. Yeah. 
Wow, the farm is so cool. Buster is so excited. <laughs> Oh, look! An adorable litter of puppies! How cute! Buster has spotted a soccer ball. He loves soccer. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to check that all the puppies are healthy. But Buster has other ideas. He wants to go and play some soccer on the farm. <laughs> What was that? Oh. One of the puppies followed Buster outside. <gasps> Looks like she wants to play. <laughs> hmm, but Buster wants to play by himself. <laughs> there she is again. The puppy won't stop following him. <laughs> Buster is throwing the puppy a stick to distract her. That will make her leave. Nope, that didn't work. And now the puppy has taken the soccer ball. What a cheeky little puppy. Aha! Finally Buster got his ball back. But the puppy still wants to play. Stay there, puppy. Buster is hiding behind a stack of hay bales. <gasps> Not again! Maybe Buster can lose the puppy in the cornfield. The puppy is sad she can't find him. But Buster's plan worked. Oh no! How did that puppy get up there? She's going to fall! And Mommy Bus and Terry haven't noticed! Quick, Buster, quick! Go, Buster! Phew! He saved the puppy! That was a close one! Oh. Mommy Bus has noticed a puppy is missing! But don't worry, Buster has brought her home! Oh. <laughs> what a fun day at the farm! Uh-oh, not again! <gasps> hey everyone, what a lovely sunset! I bet Buster has had so much fun in the sun! I wonder what that green slime is! Oh no, it's dropped on Buster! And I don't think he's noticed! What's happening? Something isn't right. Look at all the gravestones and pumpkins appearing. This is spooky. And what's happened to Buster? I think that green slime has changed Buster into a zombie. That's one big pumpkin digger is carving, and it looks great. Who's that? Oh no, it's Zombie Buster. Digger is really frightened. But I don't think Buster knows what he looks like. Oh, look, it's Scout. Buster is so happy to see her. Oh, no. She seems scared, too. Oh, no. Scout is hiding from Buster, just like Digger did. Poor Buster is so upset and lonely. Come on, Scout. Buster is your friend. I think Scout has an idea. <gasps> she wants Buster to follow her. Do you see now, Buster? You look like a zombie. That's why everyone is scared of you. Don't worry, Buster. Look, the slime has come off on Scout's wheel. I think Scout has a plan. A car wash? Good idea, Scout! Buster always loves a car wash! Yay! The green has gone! Buster is no longer a zombie! That was super spooky, Buster! Oh my, Scout! You sound like a werewolf! <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs>
Daddy Bus is reading a book about wildlife. There are so many amazing animals. Bah! What was that? Buster's taking photos with his new camera. <laughs> what a silly picture, Daddy. <gasps> it's given Daddy an idea. Daddy Bus and Buster are on a wildlife scavenger hunt to find this red and blue butterfly. Wow! Buster is determined to find it. There it is! Buster, behind you! Oh no, they didn't see it! Maybe the butterfly is hiding in that long grass? Let's check it out! Oh look, Buster has spotted something! Snap! Wait a second, it wasn't the red butterfly. It was Ash the fire truck with his mommy. Buster takes a photo for them. What a nice thing to do, Buster. Buster, look up! Quick, there's the butterfly! Oh no, he missed it again! Aha! Buster knows where they should look next. Maybe the butterfly will be by the lake. Hmm. <gasps> there it is! There's the butterfly! Steady, Buster. Don't scare it away. Oh no! Don't worry, Buster. You just have to be patient. What's that? It's red and blue. Oh no, not again. It was just teacher's red bow tie. It's a great photo though, Buster. Mm. Poor Buster. He's upset he hasn't found the butterfly yet. It's okay, Buster. You just need to be patient. <gasps> there it is! Buster, look up! Buster, look up! <laughs> That's it. Take a deep breath and be patient. He's getting some amazing photos of all the wildlife. <gasps> There's the butterfly! <gasps> Quick! Go, Buster! <laughs> he finally managed to get the photo, and it was definitely worth the wait. Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout! What's Buster spotted? Oh, look! It's Diggly and Daisy! Buster wants to help. But safety first! Look at that awesome builder's hat! Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys! Now, they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble. Oh, no! The crate is sinking into the mud. Go, Buster, go! Oh, no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well. Daisy to the rescue! Nope, that didn't work. What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane. And he's pulling Buster out. It's working. Just a little bit more. Oops. Now they're all stuck. And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed. But Buster's got a plan. He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate so they can pull themselves out. Brilliant idea, Buster! Jiggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together. And that's it! Hooray! It worked! 
Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. So they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. Well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. <laughs> now it's time for a spot of lunch. Yum, yum. But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud. Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. They know just what to do. Buster, wake up. There's a snowflake. That can only mean one thing. It must be snowing. Wow, it is snowing. <laughs> but wait, where's the Christmas tree? That one won't do, will it? Oh, look, it's a friendly robin. I wonder what he's saying. I think he wants Buster to follow him. Oh, he wants to help Buster find a new Christmas tree. Hmm, these ones aren't quite right. Wow, that one looks amazing. Buster certainly agrees. That's a tall tree, isn't it, Buster? <laughs> Careful does it, Buster. Whoop, it's wobbling. It's wobbling. Keep going, Buster. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> Off Buster goes to carry it back to the garage. I'm not sure if that will fit. It looks very big. Be careful with the turns, Buster. Oh, no. Behind you, Buster, you've lost the tree. Look behind you. Quick, quick, quick. Hurry, Buster. Turn around. Oh no, the tree is bouncing away. Quick, Buster, see if you can catch up with it. Now it's bouncing through all of the Christmas lights. <gasps> Quick, Buster. Do you think Buster's going to make it? Look at it, flying through the air. Go on, Buster. Lucky you, Buster. That's a relief. <laughs> it looks amazing. Oh, look, here's Terry. Here's Scout. They've come to celebrate the holidays with Buster. Well done, and happy Halloween. Halloween. Ash and Scout are at Buster's house, ready to go trick-or-treating. Whoa, that zombie costume looks amazing. Bandit is not impressed. Boo! Nope. Bandit doesn't want to join in. He thinks dressing up is for babies. Buster, Scout, and Ash head off on their trick-or-treating adventure. Hang on. Bandit would really like some Halloween sweets. Looks like he's got an idea. Bandit has copied Buster's costume. They look exactly the same. He's arrived at Terry's farm, looking like Buster. Mm. <laughs> Trick or treat? Mm. <sighs> wow, look at all those sweeties. Oh look, Buster, Ash, and Scout have arrived. Some sweeties for Scout? Some sweeties for Ash? Hang on. Nope. Terry thinks he's already given Buster lots of sweets. But it was actually Naughty Bandit. Poor Buster. Ash and Scout like how they look in their reflections. What is that? A sweet wrapper? And another? It's Bandit eating all the sweets. Buster has a plan. Ash and Scout are pretending to think that Bandit is Buster. <laughs> B 
Bandit is looking at himself in the reflection. <laughs> Wait a second. Now there are two bandits. <gasps> Bandit is a bit confused. And a bit scared. Where have the others gone? Boo! Buster's plan worked! Bandit has been caught in the act! And here's Terry with more sweets! He's confused by the two zombies. He's given them to Bandit again. But Bandit is sharing it with Buster. <laughs> what a funny mix-up. Happy Halloween! It's almost Christmas. But looks like it hasn't snowed yet. Aw. Hmm, what is Buster doing? Buster has made a Christmas picture frame for his best friend, Scout. It looks amazing. Well done, Buster. He wants to give Scout the present right now. But he's got to get ready first. It's starting to snow. Ta-da! It's Santa Buster! He's dressed up as Santa. Time to take the present to Scout. She's going to be so happy. Oh no! There's so much snow! How are they going to reach the Christmas market? Careful, Buster. Ice can be very slippery. Uh-oh, Buster is sliding all over the place. Look out! Oopsie! Daddy to the rescue. It's all right, Buster. I think Daddy has an idea. I wonder what Daddy is doing. Wow, a sled! They can cross the snow on that. Yuppie, this is going to be fun! Oh, Buster, wait! Buster's going so fast, Daddy can barely keep up. Oh, slow down, Buster! It's lucky he landed in that big pile of snow. Oh, Daddy is in trouble too! Look out! Aw, maybe next time Buster should wait for Daddy to help. Oh no! The sled is broken! How are they going to get to the market now? Hmm, but maybe Buster has an idea. Aha! Buster stuck two bits of the broken sled together. What's he built? Oh, it's a snowplow! Go, Buster! They've done it! They've reached the road safely. Now to get the present to Scout. <laughs> There's Scout at the Christmas market. And here's Buster. Time to give her the present at last. Aww. Scout loved her present. She's feeling so grateful. Well done, Buster. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> hey there, Buster. What's that poster there? Hmm, a fire truck? Sure looks exciting, doesn't it? Look, it's Ashley the fire truck. <laughs> I think Buster wants to join the fire brigade. Uh. <laughs> Go on, Buster. Time to get ready for your first day on the job. Just a few little changes and... <laughs> wow! Look at that. Buster really is a fire truck. He's got a ladder, a siren, and a water hose. Uh-oh. The fire alarm. There's a fire somewhere. Ashley has to go and take care of it. You stay here, Buster. Hey, it's Tony the truck. Watch out for that puddle. Oh, no! That 
falling box started a fire at the fire station. What are we going to do? Quick, Buster the fire truck, put that fire out. Uh-oh, the fire has spread to the roof. Keep blasting water, Buster. Hooray, Robin is here to help. And Ashley's back too. <gasps> you can do it if you work together. Two fire trucks are better than one. Phew, the fire is out at last. Nice work, Buster and Ashley. <laughs> It's that poster again. Now it's Buster on the poster. Whoa, you really are a hero, Buster. Buster is packing his bag for Ash's birthday picnic. He will need a picnic blanket, something to drink. What else does Buster need? Marshmallows to toast on the fire. Thanks, Daddy Bus. Don't forget Ash's present. Buster is so excited to celebrate Ash's birthday. What's wrong, Buster? He looks a bit unwell. He really doesn't want to miss the party. Buster and Daddy have arrived. Time to play some party games together. Hmm, Buster really doesn't look well. But he doesn't want to miss out on the fun. They're playing hide and seek. Oh no, Buster is feeling really poorly. Maybe sitting by the fire will make him feel better? His friends are worried about him and want to make sure he's okay. Maybe some marshmallows will make him feel better. He can't even eat toasted marshmallows. Daddy Bus is taking Buster home to rest. But he can't forget Ash's birthday present. What is it? It's a painting set. That's very thoughtful, Buster. It's given Ash an idea. He's passing a paintbrush to Bandit and Scout. I wonder what they're going to paint. Buster is resting at home. He isn't his usual happy self. He needs to take his medicine and get some sleep to feel better. Well done, Buster. The next day, Buster is feeling a bit better now. But he's still sad he missed Ash's birthday. Daddy Bus has got Buster some warm soup. And what's that? His friends made a painting for him. And they're outside! Hooray! Buster is so happy to see his friends. And the painting has made him feel much better. Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa. And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake. Grandpa has an idea. They should bake the cake together. Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients. Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar. Oop. Who's that? It's Mira! Along with Terry! Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira! Uh-oh! Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa, they both want the same bag. Oops. Mira 
Sora and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first. Off he goes, Mira. Whoops, Mira, you spooked the teacher. <laughs> she grabbed some milk too. Slow down, you guys. Whoa, it's Grandpa and Terry. Both of them move very slowly. <laughs> you sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look, there are the eggs. Oh, no, Buster dropped the eggs. And Mira spotted the last bag of icing sugar. Mira sprints off to get it. But oh no, Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf. Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. Buster offers her the icing sugar. And she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. <laughs> Mommy Bus and Ashley are having a relaxing day in, while Buster and Ash play tag. Oops, watch out, Buster. Hmm, maybe Buster and Ash should play outside instead. Wow, look at all that snow. What should they play? Oh, Buster knows a good game. How about cops and robbers? Ash can be the cop, and Buster can be the robber. Grandpa Bus is struggling to turn that hose on. Can Ash catch Buster? Oops, nearly. Oh, watch out, Grandpa. The hose is spraying water all over the shed. It's a bit hard to control. Oh, look. Buster has spotted the shed as a good hiding place. Off he goes, with Ash not far behind. Ash got him! Well done! <gasps> oh no! The water on the shed is freezing into icicles! They're trapped! Buster and Ash are honking their horns for help, but no one can hear them! What else can they try? Oh! Buster has a new idea! Buster is trying to push Ash through the window. But he doesn't quite fit. Oh, there's Grandpa Bus. Quick, try to get his attention. He's seen them. But, oh dear, Grandpa Bus thinks they're just playing a game. What can they do now? Oh, a fishing rod. Buster has an idea. Grandpa Bus is really looking forward to eating his sandwich. But, oh no, it's snatched away. Buster is using the fishing rod to hook the sandwich and get Mommy Bus's attention. Go, Buster! It worked! Mommy Bus has spotted them. Mommy Bus to the rescue. What she got there? Ah, Mommy Bus is using a hairdryer to melt the icicles. What a good idea! <laughs> but they're melting very slowly. <laughs> hmm, this could take a while. She's determined hmm. it will work. <gasps> Nearly there. <laughs> Buster and Ash are free at last. <laughs> Thanks, Mommy. And everything is back to normal. <laughs> hey there, Buster. That's a great looking shark poster oh. you've got there. Oh, Buster's looking really tired. 
I wonder what he'll dream about. What's this? Fins? Coral? Oh, wow, Buster! I think you're under the sea! Look at Buster go! The ocean is his new playground. Isn't it beautiful? Go for it, Buster! Jump into the sky! This is so much fun! Wait, what's that? It's a huge fish! Quick, Buster, hide! Oh, look, he's not big at all. He's tiny. It's okay, Buster. Nothing to worry about. But what's this? It's Sham the Shark. Look at all those sharp teeth. Hide, Buster. Quit. Oh, no. Buster has spun around the little fish, and now he's heading right for the shark. Sham the Shark seems very keen to make friends. But it looks like everyone is scared of him. Quick, little fish. Hide next to Buster. Wait a minute, the shark looks sad. Really sad. You know, Buster, I think that Sham is lonely. He was just being friendly. He doesn't have any friends. That's right, Buster. Go and say hello to him. See, he just wants someone to play with. Buster and Sham are having so much fun. The ocean is a great place to play chase and to make new friends. Look at them go! Oh, Buster's waking up! It was only a dream. You don't have any fins now, Buster. You're back to being a bus again. What a lovely underwater adventure. <laughs>